Okay, so for today's video, we're doing Infinite Warfare Zombies. So this is actually, so this is really like a game I wanted to do live, but honestly, I really haven't been having the time to try like look up how to like set up my set up live streams. So I don't know how to live stream, but it's been incredibly busy. So I it's it's just been a rough one on trying to get like my uploads up to date and try to figure out how to do live because honestly I just haven't been having time but we're just gonna try and record this and hopefully we actually get a good game I am Willard Wyler, master of the macabre for over 40 years I directed the most terrifying visceral and bloody scenes ever committed to film my contribution to horror is nothing short of genius before my retirement people demanded to know my secret how did I make it all look so real? <laughs> if you really want to know how the sausage is made in a Willard Wyler picture, the recipe is simple. First, you add actors. Then, you start grinding. Hello? Hey! Anybody here? This is the place, right? I feel like we're being set up for some punk-ass reality show. This is a Willard Wyler production. One time he held an audition on an abandoned steamship and then sunk it just for effect. Wait, you mean with the actors on it? Yeah, I, I was, uh, I was just getting in the character. <laughs> <laughs> Willard Wyler? You're late. Welcome. You've all been chosen to play a unique role in my return to the big screen. My killer comeback. <laughs> But I'll warn you now, my methods tend to be a little <laughs> extreme. Is he kidding? I expect my actors to give it their all, their blood, their bodies, everything to the performance. Thus, it is imperative we set the mood to ensure each of you fully commits to your character. What you're about to become a part of is a culmination of my life's work the crowning achievement of my career. The first scene is set in the 1980s. I call it Zombies in Spaceland. Hang on to your seats. <laughs> he is so not kidding. with the Letterman jacket. And the bling! It appears our wardrobes reflect the parts we're auditioning for. And clearly, I'm the nerd. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. He shoots! He scores! Drop the mic. Yay. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is like the intro of. It's really like the intro of all of zombies. So all the intros are just going to be more like this. Give me the mic. All right, so luckily for you guys, and more luckily for me, I actually—it's uh, sad to say—but I actually know the east, this Easter egg by heart. So I actually know all the steps, everything that we have to do, all the little locations, and etc. 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 So if you guys aren't familiar with this game, this was a. This was a game that was probably, when it first released, it was probably one of the worst games they 
COD has ever released. And this was directed by, I'm pretty sure this was made by Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, and Raven. But yeah, this is probably well known as like one of the worst games ever. But not until, well, not now. Now, uh, the worst game imaginable for all of COD is definitely uh, Vanguard. Vanguard absolutely sucks. There, it's not fun. Multiplayer is trash. You die way, like you die even faster in that than any other game. Then you have, we also have uh, the zombies, which was a complete letdown. I mean, honestly, it was just really rushed. No one wanted to play that game. I mean, I didn't even want to, I didn't even finish the final Easter egg for it because I just, I gave up on it. I, it didn't matter to me. It was not fun. It was, it was pretty garbage. Okay. So first things first, we need to finish all of Neil's of all of Neil's objectives. So right now I'm getting all these multi kills. I'm gonna let him get his new challenge up because we don't really want to progress the rounds. We want to make sure that we fill up all his challenges as early and as quickly as possible because we need all these tickets to buy certain things. And I won't be getting, because one of the achievements is having all the stickers. I've gotten it before, and that was only in, back when I was playing in one console. And uh, let me tell you, that thing is definitely a real pain. Like, even the, getting the exquisites, it's pretty much a pain, because you have to really progress rounds in order to get that stuff. There we go. Okay, let's not die. There we go. Semtex. So, honest, in my own opinion, honestly, I think this is probably one of the... I wouldn't say this is like one of the best zombies they've ever created. I think it's more like best in a part of being like overall just fun. Like this, this zombies is by far the most fun you could possibly have. Everything is goofy. There's not, I mean, you don't really have to take the game serious just to have fun. All the weapons have a special upgrade. Like every gun is actually really good for high rounds, which is pretty insane because no gun and like any zombies were actually good unless you're counting Cold War where their upgrades are actually useful. Because in Black Ops 2, that one also has some really good uh, pack-a-punch, like, damage upgrades. But the only downside for that is really just the fact that ammo was pretty scarce. Then VL3 was definitely, like, on the more scarce side. Okay, there we go. Plasma grenades, ooh, that's pretty good. Then I also love this aspect, like, they, all the zombies drop little goodie bags, little backpacks, so now you can get something special for both your grenades, uh, whatever your, the special thing is for the map. So in this map, uh, one of the special items you can get is sunglasses. Well, I think they're like sunglasses, but it just turns everything into, like, 50 shades of gray. But for that, that's like how you get one of the wonder weapons, which we're gonna have to craft because if we don't, well, uh, be defeating the boss in this is going to be even harder than it already is. Like the boss on here is definitely a formidable one, mainly because of the fact that his health is absolutely insane. I think he should def the alien should definitely have way less health. Because the boss, well, that ship right there is actually the boss. But, like, until we get all the parts and do all the steps, eh, we're not going to be touching the boss anytime soon. And actually, I need jug. I need jug. 
quick revive. No. Jug stamina. No. Jug speed. And double tap. Because I have to get bomb stoppers. If you guys do not know what bomb stoppers are, bomb stoppers are the equivalent of PhD. If you guys don't know what PhD is, then go play Black Ops 1. Because you're really missing out. PhD was definitely one of. It was actually a great perk for his time. That was in. Because the perk was released in, I believe the map is called Ascension. Which is the map that had a. I believe it's the map that had the. Uh, come on now. I believe that's the map that had the whole rocket ship. And it is. Boombox. Go. And for pack flash, we had to go through all four portals in all four different areas. So, like, now you see this is light up blue. It's originally, like, what is that, gray, yellow? There we go. But yeah, I definitely like the zombies really. It's like, for me, it's really hard because in terms of creativity, I really like Infinite Warfare zombies and I do like uh, World War II zombies. Mainly because of the, like, the, crea the creativity that was uh, done to the game. Like even in, uh, inf no not Infinite, uh, World War II zombies, which I'm pretty sure was a sledgehammer game, not uh, Infinity Ward or Raven, I think it was just like strictly sledgehammer but uh even the upgrades for all those weapons were actually really good like you had a sniper rifle that is basically turned into a shotgun you were able to buy ammo more ammo for your gun from the pack-a-punch and for one of the other sniper rifles you can shoot the, you can shoot the floor oh man that's not good But yeah, you can like shoot the floor and then uh you then you can uh you know like split it split apart into like different into different bullets and it'll be like aimbot only shooting it's kinda crazy, but it was only shooting them in the head. It took out like all like boss enemies like it was nothing. Even the blunderbuss, which was a which was a decent shotgun. The only downside, the only downside of for it is just the lack of ammo and the fact that you only have one shot, so you had to make it count. But yeah, uh, for the blunderbuss, when you upgrade it, it turned into a shotgun, but also a grenade, like a grenade launcher. And like that was absolutely amazing. But yeah, honestly, those two games definitely be like, those are like definitely my favorite by far. Black Ops 4 definitely could have done better in terms of like how they're, in terms of like how they made the perks and how they made the fact that you need to get uh, all four perks in order to get speed cola. Like that was really a really bad downside for it and the upgrade process for it was also absolutely garbage. Mainly because, like, for it, for like the upgrade process of you uh, upgrading your gun, like you getting pack a punch, you get pack a punch, but it's not going to do anything. Mainly because of the fact that you had to pack a punch your gun like what twenty times, then it will be like fully pack a punch. So like each time you pack a punch your gun, it did it only did like a slight increase to your to weapons damage. But even I will say like I do like like this game really is by far like the most creative game ever. So like so far the day of release. Cause like since I have like, you know, the DLCs and everything, 
I can play all different maps. So, for the, even for the characters, all the characters are actually different for each movie. So, like, the whole movie thing is just, like, for each map. It's, like, how they went about it. Uh, boxes and arcade. Oh, I don't have grenades. That sucks. Oh. Okay, so we have all these parts. These parts are for the SETICOM, which is going to be, like, our makeshift antenna. It's, like, a D what? D DYI satellite or antenna. It's one of those things. Some. There we go. So we got that one. That was an accident. And for my weapon, my weapon of choice, I'm gonna get. Uh, wait, hang on. Night Industries 2000 protocol. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get that M1 Grand. I'm pretty sure it's called the M1. In this game, they probably uh, yeah, it's called the M1. So yeah, like in this game, they also did like throwback weapons too, like. For instance, we have this automatic pistol, which is like, uh, it's called the Hornet, but in reality it's the Glock 18, full auto. Then uh, for the TF, which is one of these, is one of the nice snipe rifles, because, well, it's based off the intervention, you know, for MW2. We have the OSA, which I believe is from Ghost. Like, they have a whole bunch of weapons throwback weapons like what even the venom x is in this game which is really weird but it does make the game even more fun than it already is then loot boxes ah, i killed him okay well uh that's a rip that was not good So yeah, that's not good. Uh, we just oh. use one of the quick revives, but when we die, we go inside this little arcade room. Because basically, uh, what happens is that even when you're playing online, like with other players, you can still come back on like your own terms. So you still have the ability of coming back, but the way you will come back is that you'll play a couple of these games, you'll have your free, your one free self revive, Which was really nice. I, I, yeah, it's just like another nice touch to the game. And we're gonna get rid of all these tokens. So yeah, like I'm gonna spend the whole clip because I actually can't reload this thing even if I wanted to. I have to use every single bullet. But yeah, it does a little M1 grand ding most iconic thing of all Call of Duty. Yeah, we're just gonna do it again. Yep, it does a little M1 Grand thing. Ding. Then I really wanted to use this gun because for the boss fight, is that you can be held in this area down there. So I wouldn't be able to like move around, go to like the arcade or to the Astro part, or even Kepler, which uh, is down there. And that's like what makes this map so, that's what really what makes the boss fight so hard. Like the steps of how to beat this map is really easy. It's very simple. Like anyone could really do it. The only problem is getting to the boss fight. That's where it's just like it becomes really challenging. And I need to get all these parts to Hasselhoff. Because like even in this game, they even brung they actually brung real people into the game. So I think Hasselhoff was up here. So in this game, we have, well, for this map, we have David Hasselhoff 
for attack of the radioactive thing, we have Albira. There we go. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who Albira is. I'm uh, very much very young, so knowing her, I have no clue. Oh, actually, let's put this last coin in. Because for the upgrading parts, we want to try and get these toys. It's pretty ridiculous, but we need the toys in order to get the uh, the weapon, the Wonder Weapon. So to get like the plushies from the designated areas, you have to use like in that certain area, you have to get like a certain token in order for you to actually get a plushie. If you don't do it, well, you're not getting plushie. So like what I did with that one to get the plushie, I just used all three red red Kepler coins. Because that's the only way for me to actually... That's the only way I can get, get the plushie. And... Right now... Because I got one the shades from the backpack. Which is like one of the special items. Because this is actually used for getting another easter egg, well, wonder weapon part. How did I break that glass? Uh, oh, there we are. So yeah, with the glasses, you see a bunch of red targets, well, you'll see a couple of red targets. They're very much hidden in many areas, like how that one is. There's one that spawns inside the trash can. I think it's on the other side, down there. There's one down here that spawns here down there I believe there's one that spawns in here I'm not entirely sure but there is some that spawn over there in uh, in the basement area which we haven't progressed to yet which is a good thing because it gets really cramped down there and with the oh and then there's some targets down there now I'm pretty sure I didn't take a portal here so taking a portal now, in the last portal location is a Polar Peak, which is like one of the worst areas. Yeah, it's definitely just one of the worst areas in general. I hate Polar Peak. It's, it's way too cramped. It's really hard to maneuver. Then the spawns in like this area are just like really fast. Ah, uh, yeah, you know that's not good. So instead of our traditional uh, mystery box, we have the mystery wheel. I believe it's a thousand? No, 95. Okay, so it's 950. I thought it was a thousand. But that's like advanced warfare and... Advanced warfare in... Uh, advanced warfare in... Uh, come on, man. Advanced Warfare and, and Modern Warfare, no, not Modern Warfare, uh... World War II Zombies. Now, once I upgrade this gun, you guys are going to see why I say, like, this is one of the most creative games... One of the most creative games to, that, uh, the most creative zombies ever. Power now. Oh, fire sale? Actually, that's pretty. It's pretty good. I go to a box where I can actually escape from. EBR. Okay, so that is that is by far one of the worst snipers in this game. You can't, you like physically cannot say that's not. If you say that's not, you're wrong. Because it's definitely one of the worst guns in the game. One of the worst snipers in the game. Uh, so with the EBR, which was that sniper rifle, that weird looking sniper rifle, uh, it is, it has two firing modes. One of the firing modes is uh, full auto. And the other fire mode is just like a regular sniper. So there's both like a sniper and an AR at the same time. 
but it doesn't do like sniper damage. It does like when you turn to a like automatic, it does like assault rifle uh, damage. Sentry gun. Uh, I don't want to mess that up. Okay, we're going to get that. Because we're actually going to be... Yeah, we're actually going to be using this. Cluster, yes, definitely. No, it's the clowns. So in this game, we don't have dogs. We have clowns for, well, this map in particular. And they suck. Because, like, they don't even attack you. They just suicide. Like, I lie to you guys not. They don't, like, physically hit you. They just suicide. And I can't move that, so... To that because now for this one you want to try and get the battery by no 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 okay so we're not getting the battery so cool oh actually we need to use this It's definitely one of the most useful cards with playing with this gun because it's considered a sniper rifle. I don't know why, but it's considered a sniper. So with this, I'm actually going to be able to get much more points, and I'll actually be able to get myself perks and set myself up like incredibly fast. Okay, there we go. Spent. And it's double one. Okay, so double points. What a like why? I'm not sure if double points really stacks with uh scope dollars, which was what I had uh when getting all those points. Yes, let's go. And that's like one of the special zombies. So the big fat police officer zombies are the special zombies where... Oh, some sex. Yeah, I don't want that. But yeah, they absorb more bullets. So they take more damage. They have more health. They're more tankier ones. Hey man, chill. How about you snot? I don't want that. Actually, I do want that. Because I believe two red coins and a green gives me the boom box, which is very, very useful. Melee. Okay, so that's all of them. Now I actually get started on getting this battery. So throwing a grenade in this portal, it only works. So getting the battery for this uh, for the wonder weapon only act works for that portal instead of Astro. I think it's called the Astro Cave. But basically, what you're supposed to do is just keep throwing. A grenade on the ground, then throw it inside of here. You get the battery. 
like so. Now, I believe this is, yeah, this is the face melter that I'm getting, which is honestly probably one of the better ones. I think the best one is the Discord, which is the one you get from the arcade. And even the, <laughs> and crazy enough, even the Wonder Weapons have special, special abilities. So the face melts here, I believe, I believe it shoots, like when you shoot a zombie, it sends them in the air, then it explodes. And like leaving a trail of fire. The Shredder, which is by far the easiest one you get, uh, the Shredder, I mean, honestly, the Shredder really doesn't do much. It does hit, it can hit more of a crowd, but it's, it's, it's almost like it's chance. Alright. Oh, I need to get my steady con too. Go. And before I get my steady com, I just need to you know, fully perk up. So get that. Bomb stoppers. Ready for something new, huh? Hang tight. I got just what you're looking and actually, we need a little more tickets. Lucky I'm incredibly good at this game. Oh, come on. Alien ship. Yep. Because I'm the absolute best. Okay, there we go. 120 tickets. Which is amazing. Uh, we get actually... Actually, 120 tickets are actually really good. Because there's actually another game where if you win... You get a, you get a hundred tickets. So this game right here is where you get a hundred tickets. You just gotta hit the bullseye though. If you hold the trigger, uh, it gets pretty unstable. Oh, come on. Only thing about that game. It's really hard to like make sure that you're not getting attacked. Another easy game to get tickets is this one right here in this corner. It's actually pretty easy to get 50. Which right now I'm not getting 50. Okay, come on. It's really easy to get 50. Really easy to get 50. Come on, like game, you're making me look bad. Make me look real bad. Oh, it's out of order. So, uh, maybe these window boards can keep these boys out the hood. Huh, well, um, that sucks. So, what we need. Oh, we have to get the exquisites. Okay, well, uh, I. I'm not gonna lie, I did forget about that. So, yeah, we're gonna need a total of. Six. 600 tickets. Well, really, just uh, another 300, well, 200 tickets. Because we need to open that up. And the way we to open that up, we gotta use these teeth. By having this big special zombie come in here, break this teeth. It's gonna be these ones right here. Which should be this round. Damn, yeah, let's go. So the brute should be coming on this round. Either this round or maybe the next. I don't know. Just a, uh, just a guess. Let me try to get quick revive. Yep, there we go. Okay. 
Jeez. Yeah, ripping arms from torsos. Man. Oh. So he uh he doesn't just hit you. He hits you, he throws what, pipes at you for some weird reason? Then he also has his laser beam. Rank eleven. I'm already got everything I need for this time. What do you not? Oh, and he does a incredible damage. It's like getting hit with a mar by a Margwa. If you guys do not know what being hit by a Margwa is, or what it's like, it's like taking you down to one shot, even with Jug. How about you just break the teeth, man? I'm busy trying to serve ammo. Oh, he also kills zombies too, so uh, another pretty, pretty big downfall. Break the teeth, break the teeth. Pretty hard to time. Yes, he breaks the teeth. Yep, there we go. And they do the animation, so usually he will like, like hold it up and stop it. But uh, because he was in this little laser beam thing, uh, wasn't able to do it. Ooh, actually don't do that. Stop throwing me pipes at me. go well uh, look I have this button on my mouse because that is the only way I'm actually able to shoot really fast with this pistol uh, near death somewhere close to death Okay, cool. Just give me, give me the ammo. There we go. Man. There we go. Forget your cue cards. Okay, get the insta. Melee. Two times. Oh, then, uh, I forgot, with Speed Cola, uh, which is actually a nice touch, you actually rebuild all barriers faster. Significantly faster. You're all crazy. You're off the charts. Okay, cool. Wouldn't that be nice? I actually had it for the brute. Okay, and it's over. Love that. Okay, and now that we have that, because I forgot, we also had to go through Pack a Punch. I should have went through Pack a Punch first, but I completely forgot. Activate these ships. Get my baby's breath. What are you doing in there? time and get back on the set. Now, he, now, since I went through the portal, it should, I want to say it should be this round. It might be the next. Where I'm actually going to be able to get to, he's going to build the steady com. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with, like, basically the pack of punch starting pistol, uh, it's like, the, it's like the 1911s where you... So the 1911 when you pack a bunch of it, it becomes like a little grenade launcher. But if you don't have PhD, well, you're gonna kill yourself. Kinda wish I packed a bunch of this, but for what it's worth, I need the baby's breath more. That's why in this map you wanna keep your starting pistol. 
It doesn't matter like what gun you get, you want to keep your starting pistol. That's really, it really is the only way you're going to be able to do, uh, well, progress through the Easter egg. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to try and get some more tickets. If only it was this easy playing Valorant. Ugh, come on. It's the best stream we've seen in the park in quite some time. Alright, come on, get my steady calm. No! Alright. Well, okay, well. I guess I can get some more ammo. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna do a little test because I'm pretty sure you can't do the steps if uh if it's basically the clown round. But I mean, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Things are more than VCI in space land. Oh, don't do it. You, your cackle. I don't want to do that. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure you can't do it in the final round. That's alright. Is that that big of a deal? Let's see, the big deal is just finding the location. Because progressing this on more difficult rounds makes this step, like, incredibly hard. I forgot, there's actually a... So there's not a spot down there. But yeah, usually there's a... There could be a target location down there. Ooh, and I'm actually really close. I could actually... Get some more kills. Or more money, I can pack a punch this. Show you what all the hype is about. About this game and the M1. I do like how it how much how I just love how easy it is to actually get money in this game. Because you know what, it is actually pretty difficult to actually get money. It's the projector room. Now to upgrade the M1. Probably by far one of the best two guns to actually pack a punch in this game, but I mean, hey, that's just my personal opinion. T Money. I got a lot of stock ammo, a lot of ammo in my gun. And well, uh, now this is this thing is a shotgun. <laughs> I really hope it's not in the basement. So I'm gonna show you guys like right now, like hip fire. There we go. Just a shotgun, and a good one at that. This area I absolutely hate because, well, I'm not trying to die right there. Okay, so no location down here. So I... I hope it's not the case, but I might be in the basement. Do that. Like this. And for this one, uh, this is just how you get all. That's just how you get. Uh, for this one, that's like how you get uh, like this, the weapon parts for the Discord. You gotta get like all all coins. 
There's no way there's no targets here. Okay, so I'm gonna just go inside the basement. Which I hate. Because all these zombies come out of nowhere. It's so easy to get cornered in here. Okay, I have to steady calm. It's here, isn't it? It's not. I'm a little, I'm pretty surprised. So now I gotta get out of here. Okay, so since it's not in here, that means that it's either in Polar Peak or uh, cause now I gotta run around. But yeah, it's either in Polar Peak or right by Double Tap. And one by Double Tap is actually a pretty decent area, as long as you don't get hit by the stupid uh, water fountains. Cause that will definitely screw you, like pretty pretty badly. If you get hit by that. Now there is a location inside of here, which is pretty crazy, but honestly it, it does make sense. Cause you can just turn on the trap and uh, absolutely decimate every, all the zombies. It'd definitely be a great, great area to defend, honestly. Here? It's not here. Huh, it's actually okay, it's over here. Pretty sure it's like what, right here? Yeah, there it is. So now we just gotta defend. Just the only thing we gotta do is make sure that no zombie hits it. Definitely want to move around because these zombies are actually special ones. They have more health, definitely more tanky. This is definitely why you want to have your upgraded starting pistol. Use my grenade. There we go. Spawns a max. Spend all this. Like that. So now that is two, or my bad, uh, one to three defends. Each defend lasts a little longer. Hopefully the next one. Either the next one or the final one. Hopefully, it's right here. Because then I can actually use my, uh, I can actually use my M1. Or my P money. C4. I don't want C4. Okay, so it's not here. So C4, I hate the C4. Then for the final one, we're actually going to call it uh, David Hasselhoff. So when completing all of Neil's missions, you will have the ability to call in David Hasselhoff. So he will actually become like your ally. He'll actually revive you. He'll heal you. He'll like help fight. My favorite gun in this game will definitely be the KBS longbow because that gun uh, is a sniper. It does sniper damage, but it also does uh, it does really good damage on terms of it does really good damage in terms of like like it just does good damage. So it does like sniper rifle damage. 
but also uh, splits. It, the bullets actually split. Oh, it's EF. So that is the intervention right here. See, like you can tell. No, I... crap. That's not good. Okay, that's just that's just a minor setback. Minor setback. Ticket. Here's a brute. Get out of my way. I killed the brute. How many spawns in here? It's not over here, right? Oh god. This is like one of the worst locations that I could possibly be at. Just take this, because it might be over here. Either over here or just in the basement. Final spot will probably be uh, somewhere over here. Okay, so it's not over here, which means that, oh, okay, cool. No! Stop messing up my masterpiece! Okay, that's like alright. But... I can't even, you know, I can't even say that's minor. That's pretty major setback. I guess you can say that's money well spent. Cause now, oh, man. Don't, don't kill Why game? Why like, why you had to spawn them right here in front of me in order for me to get my guns? Why? Why is that? Why you gotta do me like that? We're just gonna take a little moment of silence. <sighs> all right i'm better now uh that was bull we all know that uh that's the only thing about this game they ha they spawn every single zombie in in your way on purpose uh definitely just to screw you over big time uh so that was bs definitely bs uh i don't know why they spawned the big the brute right there in front of me where i couldn't get my guns. You know, I tried to get my guns. Couldn't get out of there. Some, yeah, pure BS. But, uh, yeah. Only thing that, only thing about this game, they spawn, they throw every single zombie in front of you. In front of you, behind you, they really surround you. There's too many spawns. They spawn too frequently. But yeah, uh, that will be that. Jeez, this was a utter defeat, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, definitely leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let's try to get up to uh, 1220 subscribers. If like That will be our, our goal. Try to increase in subscriber count. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.